Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of It's a Wonderful Kingdom by Lucky Duck Games. This is one of their New York games if you're watching this in uh, 2022. Um, it really is a great strategic game uh, where you're pretty much uh, deck collecting and you're uh, our set collection and then you're trying to also collect resources. It's point solid. Um, it has three different modules. Uh, so and then you can also pick the different difficulties. And so just it has a lot of great replayability and strategic elements to it. So we're just going to jump right to the review. So for the rules, I'm going to get a five out of five. Great rule book. Uh, very detailed, well illustrated. Uh, as you tell, it also has the end of the game. Also solo mode. And then it has the Menace module and the Advisor module and the Solo scenario. So we really liked the, uh, the rule book. It was easy to understand and play right away. We didn't have to watch a video. Um, so five out of five in the rules. So for the components, I'm gonna give it five out of five. Great components like the uh, transparent resources uh, the soldier tokens, the track or uh, cards that you're able to, uh, you know, do uh, like the card quality, nice and thick. You also have these components here to keep pretty much just a uh, score. And so and then you get these little uh, tokens for your quests if you're using that module. And then you get these little tokens if you're uh, using a different module. So really cool uh, components. Everything just works very well. Um, the cards are nice to illustrate. Icons are easy to uh, distinguish. Uh, fonts easy to read. So five out of five in the components. So for the experience, I'm gonna give it five out of five. Great experience, very competitive game. Uh, really enjoyed it. Very, uh, uh, Downtime, I would say, is 20 seconds to probably like three or four minutes because there are a lot of strategies to pretty much uh, try to figure out how best, you know, beat your uh, opponent. Um, and then there's also just so much you could do. Um, so really like the experience. Also, we only play one module. We didn't play the other two. We play a simpler one, which is Quest 1. And then there's, a, a, I believe, the Menace is the hardest one, and then the Advisor might be the um, second hardest, and then the Menace is third. But uh, can't wait to, until we experience those. So great experience, five out of five. Uh, mechanics, five out of five. So many different things you can do in this game. And so what you're doing is pretty much you have a hand of cards, um, and the turn tracker, there's only four rounds, so this goes to the first person who's um, who picks this uh, character, and then this, as you can tell, is red, red. So blue would be first in the first round, then red would be uh, first in the second round, blue third, uh, red fourth. And so what you're doing is you have a hand of cards, and you're gonna be the first player. Pretty much puts two cards either here. You can put both cards or here both cards or split it. Then the opponent would pick either to grab the cards that are here or here. And then they have to set two cards down. And same thing, either you can split it or put it on one side. Um, and then at the end, pretty much you're collecting resources. You can set cards for resources. Uh, sometimes you're able to get soldiers. And then also there's a production phase where you're able to produce um, resources as well throughout the game. Um, there's also cars that just have their sell where you sell it. That's all you can do. Um, now the resources, what you use it for is construct or build uh, certain things. Like right here, you would have to have all those resources to finish. And then once you're finished, you put it on top of your car and then during the production phase, you're able to get uh, resources. 
right away, no matter what, you get these resources. Um, and so, and then there's also quests, if you're using the quest module, and that's what we did, where you pay certain resources or certain uh, soldiers, amount of soldiers, and you finish the, the quest. There's also an ability where you can trap the card. So you, it's not really trapping, it's pretty much um, you put it upside down, you put the took on top. That pretty much means that when that person um, grabs the card, they can't look at it. So, and the good thing is if you're, it can be positive or negative because if you're, you're got calamity cards, which gives it negative four if you have the quest um, module, and then you can put it upside down, and so you could trick them, or you could just place a card that you want upside down for your next turn and kind of trick them to think of that as a uh, calamity, and then you'd be able to grab the card you want. And so there's so many different things you could do in this game. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, great mechanics, five out of five uh, and mechanics. So replayability. Um, I would give it five out of five because there's three modules, there's a soul uh, variant. Um, there's so much replayability in this game and I can only imagine because uh, it's a wonderful world. Uh, I think they came out with several expansions. I hope they come out with uh, several expansions for this one. Uh, we've yet to play some wonderful world, although we do have it. Uh, we will be playing it here very soon. And so we really enjoy this game. So high replayability because of uh, the different modules and all the different cars, um, just so many things you do in this game. So five out of five. Overall total, I'm gonna give this like a 8.5, uh, like a 4.2 uh, out of five, 8.5 uh, out of 10. Uh, really enjoy this game. Uh, I can see this going up uh, because it is very competitive and as we you know, dive more into the menace and advisor mo uh, module. Um, we'll be able to uh, experience more cutthroat. Uh, the menace is more of a take that. The advisor, uh, I can't remember what it is. And then the quest wish is more of a, you know, just a calmer uh, experience. So there's so many different um, things you can experience in this game, D difficulty levels. So 4.2 or 4.2 out of five, 8.5 out of 10. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Social media is down below in the description. We'll have a link to where to buy the game, and we'll see you in the next video.